to be happy. Yeah, you feel disappointed, of course. The so, performance, I think, was an even game. When you assess the game overall, I think it was a fair result. I think they deserve the point. Uh, they were better on the first half. Second half, I think we were better. I think we start. Uh, I think the game no well. I think it was a little bit strange the situation of Tangi and Dombele that never feel uncomfortable on the on the game. Maybe that affect a little bit the team. And we are right to the first half. And okay, we change uh, for Harry Wings. And then we play better, um, and of course, uh, disappointed because we knew that we were, we were going to find a team that was going to be aggressive and very energetic team, well organized. Um, I think it's the worst opponent that you can have when you come from to play Wednesday from from the Champions League and, and a very long way. Um, but yes, of course, disappointed because in the moment that you broke down them one nil for us on the second half not keep that advantage or maybe to score the second goal because we had some, some chances when we in that moment we were dominated the, the game um, yes you feel so disappointed and of course uh, i don't know the word to use uh, upset or, or frustrated or but of course it's not the good uh, good feeling did you feel any sympathy over the goal it's like if you ask uh, Leicester against us uh, in the goal the Sony that should be two nil and now we are, for sure we are talking in a different way. I express uh, or I told you that my feelings when the thing were for for us or when it's against us. I'm not now we are going to talk in different way. I think I talk a lot about the VAR. For me, the referee. Uh, must be the um, the person that decide and is the boss on the pitch. But with the VAR, you know, uh, it's difficult to accept. I I, I, know, I understand for sure if uh, Chris is complain or not complain about the the goal, like happened with us on Leicester or happened with us uh, when the, was a red car uh, Sony when was in red car. That is. You can, okay, the referee can make a mistake, but uh, like us, that we made a mistake, but with the VAR, it's difficult to accept this type of situation. I for sure understand and emphasize with, with Chris, with uh, Sheffield, it's like for sure Leicester emphasize with us or Everton or, the, or different team when we play, and the decision are so, you no, know, the line is so thin. Mauricio, you said about Tongi on the melee not being comfortable. Was that an injury or just couldn't get into the game? We need to assess now um, him. I don't know nothing still. He feel pain in his growing, but I don't know if it was before or during the game that happened. Um, yes, a strange situation because my feeling was that was um, you know wasn't uncomfortable on the on the pitch, but he said okay during the game, um, but and then we arrived to the to the half time and, and of course uh, the doctor said to me we need to change because we can't uh, uh, follow in the game. Yes, that is type of situation sometimes affect the team um, and it's not the excuse, it's only explain that um, when you play again a team like Sheffield United, 11 player focus with full energy, if you drop a little bit in someone uh, for different reason, of course, um, it's going to, to struggle. And we struggle from the beginning. I see in the last 15, 15 minutes on the second half, we grow on the on the on the pitch and we 